Mr. Giacopetti to the booth, please. Mr. Giacopetti to the booth, please. Prior to the game, we had the official coin toss, and the Canton Warriors won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. So the Warriors will be kicking to the Muncie Indians, and Muncie will be defending the south goal to start the first period. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to stay up immediately following the game for the presentation of the first place medals. Kicking off for the Warriors, Ben Knapp, and deep for the Indians, number two, Branson Iyer, and number nine, Chase Crawley. Getting the clocks set. Chase Crawley on the return, but there is a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Illegal block in the back against the return team. That'll be a yardage mark off from the spot of the foul. And after the yardage mark off, Muncie Indians, first and ten from their own twelve. We're going to respot that yardage penalty, so now the ball will be at the 15. First and 10, Muncie. Hand off to number nine, Chase Crawley. Tackled on the play by Joel Schoonover, number 25, after a gain of four. Second and six Indians. Ball at their own 19. Inside handoff to Ethan Gush. Hayden Ward and Ben Knapp on the stop, but just enough for a first down, Muncie, ball at just outside their 25. Handoff to Ty Nixon. Tripped up by Weston Bellows after a gain of five. 
Second and five Indians. Ball at their own 30. Handoff to Ty Nixon, number one. Tackled by Joel Schoonover, but not before a Muncie first down. Ball at the 44 yard line, first and 10 Indians. Come on, Ryan, let's go. Handoff to Ethan Gush. Hayden Ward and Carter Rout. Gave gain of three. Hayden Ward, Carter Rout on the stop. Muncie Ball, second and seven at their own 47. Pitch to number one, Ty Nixon, tripped up by Schoonover, just short of the first down. That's going to bring up a third and one. Muncie ball inside Warrior territory at the 46. Quarterback sneak. Branson Iyer. First down. Indian ball at the Warrior 43. Nixon, the ball carrier, number 50. pushed out of bounds uh, by Mason Nelson, number 50, after a gain of three. Muncie ball inside the 40-yard line of the Warriors, second and seven. Pass caught by Chase Crawley. Schoonover on the tackle. Gain of about four. That's going to bring up a third and three for the Indians. Just outside the Canton 35. Handoff to Ty Nixon, tackled for no gain. Caden Williams on that stop. That's going to bring up a fourth and three. Muncie ball at the Warrior 35. Inside handoff to number 20, Ethan Gush in for the score.
in to attempt the extra point, Loudon Boring, Branson Ayo to hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with six minutes, 59 seconds remaining in the first period, the score, the Muncie Indians seven, and the Canton Warriors nothing. Weston Bellows deep, awaiting the kick from Gage Wirtz. Weston Bellows on the return, tackled on the play by number 34, Kobe Fowler. Ball be spotted just inside the Warrior 30 at the 28, first and 10, Canton. Kitchen's pass is tipped at the line of scrimmage, falls incomplete. Second and ten. How bad do you want it, Red? Inside handoff to Hayden Ward, number twenty three. 53, Adam Rosario. Adam Rosario on the stop after a gain of four. Sec, excuse me, third and six Warriors. Loose ball. Can't recover. Canton does recover, but it brings up a fourth and seven ball at the 30 yard line. Formation. Six. Woods punt rolls dead at the Muncie 40 yard line where the Indians will take over first and ten. Pass is complete to number 17, Gage Wirtz. Bellows on the tackle. Just short of a first down. That's second and less than one. Ball at midfield.
handoff to Ty Nixon. Ben Nance. Loss of two. Ben Knapp on the stop brings up a third and two for the Indians. Ball at their own 48. Bush, the ball carrier, Hayden Ward, and Caden Williams on the stop, but not before a Muncie first down, ball at midfield. Ethan Gush on the carry. I'm sorry, Weston Bellows. Weston Bellows finally on the stop, but not before a big game down inside the 25 to the 24 of the Warriors, first in 10 Muncie. Ty Nixon, the ball carrier, but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Preliminary indication holding against the Indians. Holding against Muncie. Ball be spotted now back at the 36 yard line. Okay, let's go. Will be first and 21 for the Indians. Nixon on the sweep, tripped up by Joel Schoonover for no gain. Second and 21. <laughs> Brand Sanayer calling his own number. Tackled on the play by number 80, Evan Landis. After a gain of six, that's going to bring up a third and 15 for the Indians at the Canton 28. Pass is complete to Ross Iyer, but well short of the first down, and that's going to bring up a fourth and eleven. Don't be afraid to say it. Number two, Branson Iyer, forced out of bounds, 
short of the first down, Warriors take over on downs. Canton with a first and 10 at their own 23 with two minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the first period. Cooper Kitchen calling his own number. Branson Iyer on the tackle. Tackled by Branson Iyer after a gain of one. Second and nine, Canton at their own 24. is complete to Ben Knapp. Number 11 on the tackle. Ross Tackled by Ross Iyer. Gain of three. Third and let's call it third and six. Ball at the Canton 27. As we're approaching one minute left in the first. Kitchen's pass falls incomplete, and it's a fourth down. Deep awaiting Ward's punt, number 27, Elijah Reichel. And number six, Paul Pepper. And the Lord's punt rolls dead at the 40-yard line where the Indians will take over first and 10 with 36 seconds left in the first. by Ward and Nelson after a yard loss, second and 11. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the end of the first period with the score. The Muncie Indians, seven, and the Canton Warriors, nothing.
got defense so it's made up. As we begin the second period, Muncie has a second and 11 from their own 39. Pass is complete to number nine, Chase Crowley. Joel Schoonover on the tackle after a gain of five. It's going to bring up a third and six for the Indians at their own 44. Ty Nixon, the ball carrier, tripped up by Hayden Ward after a gain of one. Fourth and five for the Indians at their own 46. Bellows and Ward deep, awaiting the punt from Gage Wirtz. There are flags on the play. Flag on the play. We have holding against the punting team. I think most people expected Hayden to be But yardage mark off will be marked off from the spot of the foul, so therefore it will be a repeat fourth down for the Indians. Now the ball at their 29. So that will be a fourth and 21. Words to punt. Weston Bellows on the return. Ty Nixon on the stop. Okay, because yeah. But not before we turn inside Muncie territory at the 45 first and 10 Canton. Number 25, Joel Schoonover on the carry. Matthew McCauley. Matthew McCauley on the stop after a little or no game. We'll call it second and nine. Ball just inside the Muncie 45. Cameron Bellows on the reception from Kitchen. Ethan Gush on the stop. Gain of three. Third and six for the Warriors at the Muncie 42. Yeah. 
Bellows, or excuse me, Kitchens pass is complete to Hayden Ward, but little or no gain. Gush on the stop, and that'll bring up a fourth and six for the Warriors. Michael Davis to punt for the Warriors. Turn out to just beyond the 20 to the 21. Hudson Ward on the stop. First and 10 Muncie at their own 21. Mason Nelson on the stop, uh, along with number 60, Connor Davis. Game of three, second and seven months from their own 25. Ty Nixon, the ball carrier. Mason Nelson. Mason Nelson on the stop. <laughs> Little or no game. Brings up a third and seven. Muncie at their own 25. <laughs> As we're approaching seven minutes left in the first half. The pass is complete to number nine, Chase Crawley, down into Canton territory at the 41. Ethan Gush, the ball carrier. Nice Nelson and Campbell, or no, with Hayden Ward. Mason, Nelson, and Hayden Ward on the stop after a gain of five. Second and five, Muncie at the Canton 36. Inside handoff to Ethan Gush, good enough for a first down. Weston Bellows on the stop. Muncie first and ten from the Canton 27. Ty Nixon on the sweep. Little or no game. Call it second and ten Muncie.
Extended for 17. Weston Bell is on the coverage. Irish pass incomplete. Gage Roots, the intended receiver. Third and 10 for the Indians. Irish pass complete to Elijah Reichel. Cameron Bellows on the stop. Good enough for a first down. Muncie ball first and ten. Ethan Gush, the ball carrier. Schoonover on the stop. Gain of one. Second and nine, Muncie. At the Canton, just outside the Canton, 15. Gush on the sweep. Nelson and Ward on the stop. Gain of maybe one. We'll call it third and seven. Ball just inside the Canton 15. Watch the pass! Big stop! the Big stop, guys! The pass incomplete, and that brings up the fourth down for the Indians. is intercepted in the end zone by Weston Bellows and that will result in a touchback first in 10 Canton from their own 20. Tackled by number 60, yeah. Matthew McCauley, after a gain of five, second and five, Canton from the their own 25. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. 71. Tackled by Isaac Harris after a gain of one, third and four for the Warriors. As we're approaching three minutes, timeout on the field, Canton. That's their first timeout.
Ward, the ball carrier, forced out of bounds. Paul Pepper on the stop, but it's just good enough for a first down. Kitchen on the quarterback option. Ross Isle on the stop, but not before another Canton first down. Ball at their own 48. Ward on the carry. Ethan Gush on the stop. Gain of three, second and seven. Ball just inside Indian territory at the 49. Hayden Ward on the sweep. Tripped up by Chase Crowley, but not before another Warrior first down inside the 40 to the 39. As we're under two minutes remaining in the half. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. Jason Shooter on the stop. Officials time out. <laughs> Equipment. <laughs> Second and six. Canton ball at the Muncie 35. Cooper Kitchen calling his own number. Isaac Harris on the stop. Canton first and ten from the Muncie 25. Schoonover on the carry. Ethan Gush on the stop. Gain of four. Second and six. Canton at the Muncie 21. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. Timeout on the field. Canton, that's their second timeout. With 35 ticks remaining in the first half. the timeout, Canton faced with a third and six from the Muncie 20. Kitchen no place to go, forced out of bounds at around the 20, and that's going to bring up a fourth and five. Buddy! 
Kitchen's pass is complete to number 25, Joel Schoonover for the score. are going for the two-point conversion. Go, 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 go! Ward in for the two-point conversion. So with 22 seconds remaining in the first half, the score the Canton Warriors eight, and the Muncie Indians seven. Ferguson with 11 seconds left Muncie has a first and 10 from their own 32 to me as the final seconds tick off from the first half with the score the Canton Warriors 8 and the Muncie Indians 7.
couple of uh, District 4 double and triple A, or excuse me, triple A scores. Danville 23, Athens nothing at halftime. And Montoursville 36, Royal Sack nothing at halftime. <laughs>
toss it on this side, a pitch and then throw, you know what I mean? Do that in front of All the lava come in and just dump it off and then you have like three yards. He just dumped it up to the road back in He had to just get past the side of the lava. That was all he blocked it, right? Because they got the lava in the middle. I 
This year's Canton Cheer Team 2020. 
coached by Kelly Davis. Seniors Jesse Gilliland, Madison Graham, Zoe Morris, Jordan Phillips, Lila Smith, Taylor Stone, Juniors, Chastity Green, Kylie Landon, Felicity Smith, Shannon Wesneski, Sophomores, Charity Reagan, Madison Leacock, and Ashlyn Willow. And our freshman, Ailey Willow. As we start the second half, Canton head to third, so they are going to elect to receive to start the second half. <laughs> Number seven deep, Weston Bellows, awaiting the kick from Gage Woods. One of the up men, Joel Schoonover, on the return. Jacob Cooley. Tackled by number 39, Jacob Cooley. The ball be spotted at the Canton 35, first and 10 Warriors. Sweep. Chase Tackled by Chase Crowley after a game of six. Second and four. Canton ball at the 140. Uh -oh. Officials time out. the ball carrier. Paul Pepper finally on the stop. But again inside Muncie territory, first and ten Warriors at the Indian 43. Cut that in, buddy. There you go. There you go. Weston Bellows, the ball carrier. Finally stopped by Ross Iyer, but another Canton first down at the Muncie 20.
Gladden bowling in to attempt the extra point. Branson Iyer to hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 8 minutes, 52 seconds left in the third period, the score, the Canton Warriors 16, and the Muncie Indians 14. Bellows deep for the Warriors, the waiting Wurtz is kicked. Tristan Dixler on the stop. First and ten, Canton from their own 40. Weston Bellows, tackled on the play by Isaac Harris, after a gain of eight, second and two Canton, at their own 47. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. Ethan Gush on the stop after a game of two. Third and one for the Warriors. Ball just inside midfield. Weston Bellows. Close to a first down. Ball be spotted at the 50 yard line. Time out on the field. Now it is a first down for the Warriors. by Jason Shiva after a gain of five. Second and five, Canton at the Muncie 45. Cooper Kitchen calling his own number. Roots on the stop after a gain of one. Third and four, Canton at the Muncie 43. Number 25, Joel Schoonover on the carry. Matthew McCauley on the stop, but not before Canton first down, first and 10 from the Muncie 39. Kitchen's pass incomplete. 
intended for Weston Bellows, second down. Forced out of bounds by Gage Wirtz as a small gain of two, third and eight for the Warriors at the Muncie 37. Push it! Push it! It's open. He's open. Open! The pass is incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Holding against the Warriors. So holding against the Warriors with the yardage marked off back inside Canton territory at the 46 where it'll be a third and 25. Cooper calling his own number. Uh, tripped up by Gage Wirtz. Gain of about seven. Fourth down, 17. Ball at the Muncie 46. Michael Davis to punt. Paul Pepper on the return, tackled immediately by Hudson Ward. Muncie first and ten from their own fifteen. Hires pass complete to Chase Crawley. Hayden Ward on the stop after a gain of seven. Second and three Muncie at their own 23. calling his own number. Connor Davis on the stop, but not before a Muncie first down. Ball be spotted at their own 33. As we're under five minutes left in the third period. Ethan Gush, the ball carrier. Cooper Kitchen on the stop. Gain of seven. Second and three. Indian ball at their own 41. Ty Nixon, the ball carrier. 
Bellows on the stop, but not before a Muncie first down. Ball will be spotted just inside their own 45. Inside handoff to Ethan Bush. Carter yeah. Rod on the stop after a gain of two. Second and eight. Muncie ball at the round 47. on this carry. Mason Nelson on the stop. A game of two. Third and six. Muncie ball at the own 48. Bush's pass incomplete, and that brings up a fourth down. Paul Pepper, the intended receiver. Rustin Bellows deep, awaiting. Works his punt. Bellows on the return. Benjamin Robinson on the stop. Canton ball first and ten from their own 31. on the stop, gain of three, second and seven, Canton. Again, more of the ball carrier. Branson Iyer on the stop, gain of two, third and five for the Warriors. At the room 37. Number 11 on the interception, Ross Iyer, but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Against the Warriors, that penalty will be declined and the score stands. Loudon going in to attempt the extra point. Branson Iyer to hold. The kick is up and the kick is good. So the minute 53 remaining in the first or the third period, the score, the Muncie Indians 21 and the Canton Warriors 16.
Roach to kick off. Weston Bellows deep for the Warriors. Tristan Ditzler finally on the stop. Ball almost to midfield. First and 10 Canton from the round 49. Cooper Kitchen calling his own number. number 12, Tristan Ditzler on the stop after a game of two. Inside Muncie territory at the 48 second and eight for the Warriors. Schoonover on the carry. Stop for no gain by Xander Brown. Third and eight. Timeout on the field, Canton. That's their first timeout with 45 seconds remaining in the third period. are faced with a third and eight at the Muncie 49. Cooper Kitchen's pass is complete to Ben Knapp. Gage works on the tackle, but good enough for Canton first down. Ball at the Muncie 39. Oh, Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. Gorsh on the stop. Gain of five. Second and five at the Muncie 34. Ward the ball carrier as time expires in the third period with the score. The Muncie Indians 21 and the Canton Warriors 16. Thank <laughs> you. 
begin the fourth period, the Royals looking at a third and three at the Muncie 31. Weston Bellows, the ball carrier, thrown back, but not before a Canton First down. Ball will be spotted at the Muncie 27. Inside handoff to Weston Bellows. Branson Iyer on the stop, but another Canton first down. Ball will be spotted at the 16-yard line of the Indians. the ball carrier. Oh. Tackled by Isaac Harris after a gain of five. Second and five from the Muncie 11. the ball carrier. Tripped up by Ross Sire after a gain of about one. That's going to bring up a third and a long three ball at the Muncie 10. Bellows the ball carrier, tackled by number 20, just short of the first down, it's going to bring up a fourth and one, ball spotted at the Muncie 8. Bellows tackled for a loss, and the Indians take over on downs. Paul Pepper leading the way. Iyer 
first pass complete to Gage Roots. Good enough for a first down. Kim Bellows on the stop. First and ten, Muncie. Roots calling his own number. Or check that. Iyer calling his own number. Tripped up by Cooper Kitchen, but not before another Muncie first down. Ball spotted at their own 36. As we approach nine minutes left in regulation. Ethan Bush, the ball carrier. Weston Bellows on the stop after a gain of four. Second and six. Muncie ball just inside their own 40. Inside handoff to Ethan Gush. Carter Rout on the stop. Gain of one. Third and five for the Indians at their own 40. Nixon on the sweep. Cam Bellows on the stop. Gain of only one. Fourth and four. Muncie ball at their own 43. Go on the ball. Punting formation. Roots to punt. Goes deep for the Brewers. Bellows on the return, but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Personal foul, roughing the punter against the Warriors. Will be a first down for the Indians. So after the yardage knockoff, Muncie will have it first and 10 from the Warrior 43, with just under seven minutes remaining. Nixon, the ball carrier. Out of bounds, 63, Caden Williams on the stop after a gain of one. Second and nine, Muncie. At the Canton 42. Timeout. Out of bounds. Ethan Bush, the ball carrier. Tackled by Bellows and Rout after a gain of about three. That's going to bring up a third and five. Muncie ball 
at the Canton 37. Benson Iyer, no place to pass, calls his own number. Mason Nelson on the stop. No game. Fourth and five. Muncie at the Canton 33. He appears to be going forward on fourth down. Flag on the play. Illegal procedure against the Indians. That'll be a five yard mark off. And it will make it a fourth and 11 at the Canton 44. Appears to be a punting formation. Woods to punt. Wood deep. Hey, then you run, buddy! Hey, what's up? Yeah! Woods is punt. Rolls out of bounds. At about the 33 yard line, where the Warriors will take over first and 10 with 5 minutes 11 seconds and two timeouts remaining. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier, tackled for a loss of one, second and 11, Canton. Ball at just outside their 30. Come on, Red, protect! Protect! Hayden Ward on the reverse. Paul Pepper on the stop. After a gain of eight, third and three, Canton at the round 40. First down, ball out at the 43 yard line, first and 10 Canton. Austin Bellows, the ball carrier. Pepper on the stop. Gain of three. Second and seven, Canton. At the round 47. As we're approaching three minutes remaining.
Hitchens pass incomplete intended for Knapp Branson Island coverage third and seven for the Warriors Bellows pass is complete, but short of the first down, going to bring up a fourth and one. Ball inside Muncie territory at the 47. Kitchen calling his own number. First and ten, Canton at the Muncie 44. Hayden Ward, the ball carrier. Branson Iyer on the stop. Gain of three. Second and seven, Canton, at the Muncie 42. Timeout on the field, Canton, their second timeout. Kitchen calling his own number, first out of bounds, but not before Canton first down, inside the 30-yard line of the Indians, first and 10 Canton, with a minute 15 left in regulation. Kitchen's pass incomplete, intended for number 84, Connor Bailey, brings up a second and ten. Kitchen's pass intercepted by number 11, Ross Iyer. Everybody drop back, cover 
calling his own number. Timeout on the field, Canton, their third and final timeout with 55 seconds remaining. the timeout, Muncie has a second and 10 at their own 40, with 55 seconds remaining. Take that ball! for the Muncie Indians as the clock winding down. <laughs> as the clock reaches zero and the final score of the PIAA District 4 Class A game, the Muncie Indians 21, and the Canton Warriors 16. Congratulations to the Indians, third year in a row, District 4 champs. Now I gotta stay and do the presentation of the medals. Take but back. Thank you. You be good too. Try. Again, we ask that you stick around and wait for the presentation of the medals for the champion Muncie Indians. Also, congratulations to the runner-up Kent Warriors for another fine season for 2020. for the presentation of the District 4 medaling. The Indians will line up in numerical order. I had to make my 
Okay, and now the presentation of the medals for the District 4 Class A champion, Muncie Indians. Still a lot of logistics being worked out for winter sports, but we will definitely have... Starting number one, Ty Nixon. Number two, Branson Iyer. Number five, Brady Ryder. Number six, Paul Pepper. Number seven, Caden Berry. Number eight, Noah Confer. Walk into their businesses, support their businesses. Number nine, Chase Crawley. Thank you for sponsoring uh, high school football coverage or any sports coverage for that. Number 10, Caleb Meyer. As well. But another football season has come to a close as the Muncie Indians are your 2000. Number 11, Ross Iyer. Warriors today by a final score of 21 to 16. Number 12, Tristan Ditzler. From there, don't forget tonight, Penn State football right here on Wiggle 100 as the Nittany Lions play Ohio. Lucky number 13, Benjamin Robinson. Right here on Wiggle 100. This is Shane saying Number 17, Gage Wirtz. District 4, Championship Football, the Endless Mountains, Racing Mobility High School Football Team. Number 18, Thomas Steyer. Number 20, Ethan Gush. Number 21, Loud and Boring. Number 25, Bailey hudson Linskoloff. Number 26, Dylan Shar. Number 27, Elijah Weichel. Number 28, Jacob Fowler. Number 30, Ernest Delp. Number 34, Kobe Fowler. Okay, okay, it's stop. Number 39, Jacob Cooley. Okay, now up in the, let's see. Number 42, Jason Shuda. Number 50, Xander Brown. Scroll down and you'll see mixed down. Number 51, Connor McLean. Uh, it should be like mixed down with an arrow. Number 53, Adam Rosario. Okay. Number 54, Braden Berge. Number 60, Matthew McCauley. Um, just, just leave it be and minimize it. And I'll take care of it one day. Number 63, Liam Cunningham. So, all right. Thank you, kids. Good luck tonight. Run the game. Bye.
Number 65, help me out on that. I don't have a name. Braden Bergen. Number 70, Travis Fogelman. Number 71, Isaac Harris. Number 72, Josiah Meza. Number 74, Bo Steele. Number 76, Gavin Hillman. Number 77, Elijah Harris. Number 78, Braden Kammerer. Number 79, Connor Deal. Number 81, Lucas Groover. Number 82, Gabriel Stark. And number 86, Brandon Bateman. Ladies and gentlemen, the PIAA District 4 Class A Champion, Muncie Indians. Good luck to the Indians next weekend. They'll be traveling at a District 3 Champion, Steelton High Spire. Home and remember to vote on Tuesday, November 3rd.